I want to welcome you to this week's mini clinic. We're going to discuss putting again. This is an important aspect of your game. It's great because you can do it during the off season when you can't get outside. You can do it obviously at the course. So what we're going to talk about first is tempo. And I like to kind of call this whistle while you work. I know that sounds kind of weird, but we're literally going to be whistling. Because what I see with amateurs and one of the common problems, especially if you have the yips, we can call this whistling, we can also call this the yip buster. What I see from amateurs is they get in here and their tempo gets really quick. Maybe they take it back too long, then they slow down and then they jab. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually whistle our way to a better putting stroke. And the way we do this is we simply whistle. We set up here, we start whistling, that way. Someone whose tempo is not good, you'll actually hear the inflection in their stroke. So they'll sit here and they'll go when they start trying to hit it really quick. So you really want to work on your tempo being the same. A metronome does the same thing. You could actually download an app on your phone and just really work on the one and three, one and three. And the reason I say one and three versus one and two is I don't want to see a one and two. That's what we want to get out of. We want the one and three, elongate the E's. But again, whistling will do the same thing. If you're doing this in your office, people might come in and ask what's going on, but a simply And you can do this from three feet, 30 feet, whatever it is, but really work on your tempo and create a nice, smooth, even tempo back and through. And that is your first key to improving your putting.